That was it. Do appear to have some binding on the right side. So we got those three pins on the top, I think. And now we're gonna see about these uh, sliders on the right to basically act like a wafer lock. Binding on four, binding on one, binding on two. I got three. One, two, three. Okay, there was four again. There was two again. Two, three. A little bit on three. A little bit on four. A little bit on one. And you can feel the lock relaxing just a little bit each time. Right, let's check those. Uh, Just in case something happened with top pins. Okay, back to the right. We tapped a little bit on the left. Nothing great happened. So that seems pretty loose. Interesting happens. Oop. And we're losing our tensioner. Hey kids, don't do this at home. side back there. Four doesn't really seem to want to do anything. Is four too high? Four may have been too high. That's two. Two seems pretty happy way down here.
Having some trouble with three and four. Can't really see four, so it's hard to do. Oh, okay, it was a little high, uh, so we had to poke him back down a little bit and then that allowed us to finish off with uh, two it was also just a little bit sitting a little bit higher than it was comfortable with uh, let's turn that autofocus back on okay I think if you go all the way around there's a, a technique for <clears throat> this sort of finessing your way around I'm not gonna mess with that So this Kaken KX3 has three different styles of locking, uh, none of which work particularly well, uh, but together they combine into something a little interesting. <coughs> I guess that's sort of a interesting philosophy of things, like if one thing doesn't work very well, add more of it. I'm not taking that apart for you. I have no idea what immediately went wrong there. I really couldn't tell you. But I'm not going to have you suffer through it. So I guess there it is. 